Using this K35 compressor as a good example, let's go through the wiring connections onto the CCOP controller. This controller is the 101N0212 controller, the standard DC version which we offer here in the US on Frigibo systems. Uh, there are options to upgrade to an AC version which has uh, two more terminals for AC incoming from 115 or 230 volt. There are shielded versions and other versions with different algorithms, but this is the standard one that we offer. On the top is the input terminals for the DC power. That can be either 12 or 24 volts. So the system will work with either. Below that is a small uh, positive terminal and F. Those are the fan terminals. Uh, the F is the negative. And this, no matter what comes into the top here, if it's 24 volts here, it will still put out 12 volts to the, for the fan or for the relay for the pump. So if you have a, uh, an air-cooled unit and you have 24 volts coming in here, the fan will be 12 volts. This will always be 12 volts on the F terminals. The D terminal is for the installation of a troubleshooting diode. Uh, highly recommended, and every system should have one of those. The C and the T terminals, that's the, the bottom terminal and not the next one, but the next one up, those are the two thermostat uh, terminals. Shorting those two means the compressor will run and an open circuit on those will stop the compressor. In between, we have a P-terminal, which is um, not used in, in, in our systems. On the Frigibo controllers, we uh, have a, uh, a label which shows all those connections. Uh, again, the POS and NEG go to the battery or the power supply, 12 or 24 volts. The POS and the F are for the fan, and that will always be 12 volts, no matter what comes in on this, these terminals. The next one here is the diode, which is not used normally, and then the C, the Charlie, and the Tommy go through the thermostat, and that is the control circuit for the compressor.